most of us have grown up listening to wise stories from famous panchatantra collection of animal based fables originally written in sanskrit each of these fables have an associated moral although the tales portray animal characters the values they preach are very much for humans to apply these stories are very impressionable and can live in our memories for a lifetime in the previous session you have listened to the story of the wise old bird through the lesson flying together today let us seek the values it places before us by understanding the text learning new vocabulary and comprehending the message deep in a forest stood a very tall tree its leafy branches spread out like strong arms this tree was the home of a flock of wild geese they felt safe there one of the geese was a wise old bird he noticed a small creeper at the foot of the tree spoke to the other birds about it you see that creeper let us destroy it said the old wise bird to the other geese why must we destroy it asked the geese in surprise it is so small what harm can it do my friends that little creeper will soon grow As it creeps up the tree it will become thick and strong like the wise old bird what of that what harm can a creeper do us don't you see with the help of that creeper it will be possible for someone to climb the tree a hunter can come up and kill us all replied the wise bird well there's no hurry the creeper is very small it would be a pity to destroy it now destroy the creeper while it is still young now it is tender and you can cut it easily later it will become hard and you will not be able to cut it we'll see we'll see the birds answered but they did not destroy the creeper they forgot the wise old bird's advice as the creeper grew it began winding its way up the tree stronger and stronger it became until it was as strong as a thick rope one morning when the geese had gone out in search of food a hunter came to the forest So this is where the wild geese live. He said to himself, "Come back in the evening. I shall catch them." So he climbed up the tree with the help of the creeper. He got to the top and spread his net there. Then he climbed down and went away. In the evening, the geese returned home. They did not notice the net. As they flew into the tree, they were trapped. They struggled hard to get out, but could not. Help! Help! We are caught in the hunter's net. Oh, what shall we do? The geese. Don't make a fuss now. Long ago, I told you to destroy the creeper, but you did not. Now see what has happened. Tomorrow morning the hunter will come back and kill us all. Lamented the wise old bird. We were foolish. We are very sorry we did not listen to you. Please tell us what to do. Wept the birds. Then listen carefully. When the hunter comes You must all pretend to be dead. Just lie still. The hunter 
will not harm dead birds. He will throw us to the ground. It will be easy for him to climb down, collect the dead birds and take them home. When the last of us has been thrown down, we must quickly get up and fly away. Advised the wise old bird. Good morning, the hunter came to the tree and climbed up. He looked at the geese in the net. They are all dead, he muttered to himself. He threw them out of the net one by one. The birds lay still until the last one had been thrown down. Then, all at once, they got up, flapped their wings and flew away. The hunter was taken by surprise. From the top of the tree, he watched all the geese fly away. You see, in the end, all's well that ends well. What message does this story lend us? Let us take a look. Had the flock of geese to listen to the wise bird's advice in the first place, they would have saved themselves so much trouble. Also, if they had to work on time and destroy the creeper while they could still do so, the hunter would not have been able to catch them so easily. Finally, they realized the magic of teamwork. In the end, they corrected their previous mistakes of not listening to good advice, not acting on time, and by flying together, they succeeded in saving their lives. Let us remember, precaution is better than cure. Always be attentive to good advice. A stitch in time saves nine. So always do your work on time. And finally, unity is strength. Teamwork helps us fly together.